can my neighbor like not mow the lawn right now? That would be great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Any day now, buddy. everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's agenda we are going to be curling my hair so I'm going to be showing you step by step how I achieve flowy curls if you will. So we're going to just act like my neighbor isn't mowing his lawn right now because it's very annoying. So I have my curling wand right here. Uh, this is just the Remington one to one and a half inch wand and then I always have my brush on deck and a clip woo, to hold up part of your hair because I always do mine in sections. So first I'm just gonna section off like the bottom layer of hair. I usually curl my hair in like three or four sections. Just gonna clip it out of the way. Once my hair is sectioned off I'm just gonna be taking a small section and I'm gonna be curling away from my face and I hold it here for about I would say 10 seconds, you don't want to hold it too long, and then release, and then I hold it in my hand just like this so that it can cool down a little before letting it bounce freely, you know, and we've got our first curl. Then we're going to take another section of hair, and this time we are just going to curl towards my face. So every section you do, you're going to alternate which way the curl is. It's also important to leave the ends out from the rod. Just let it sit for a little bit. It kind of feels nice in your hand because it's warm. And let it fall freely. So I'm going to do this entire section, speed it up, and then we'll move on to the next section. The first section is done, so we're going to drop the rest of our hair and we're going to just take another section. So usually this mid section I take a bigger chunk. My hair looks so dark right now on camera, but um, we have more hair and we're just going to repeat the same process for this section and yeah. We've got two sections done, so now we have all our hair down, and we're going to repeat the same exact step for the top layer of our hair, but this time we're going to keep the two front pieces out until the end. It's also important to note you don't want to curl your hair above, I would say, around here. Um, you want this to all lay flat, um, because once you start getting up into your roots, it just it doesn't end well. And also for this top section, you're going to be curling a little bit thicker of pieces. Now we just have the last two pieces, so we're going to make sure that they are curled away from our face, like so. And I'm only going to hold these for a few seconds because they're really thin pieces. Now that our hair is completely curled, we're just going to very gently run your fingers through the curls so it just separates them a little bit and makes them more fluffy and bouncy. Just very gently. 
And then to finish it off, I'm just going to add a little bit of hairspray. You don't want to do too much. So I'm just using the L'Oreal Paris Elnette Satin Hairspray. This works wonders for curls. Um, I don't really use it when I straighten my hair, but... And there you have it. This is so easy. It only takes me about 10 minutes to curl my hair, especially now that it's short it's so much easier to manage but i just think that this process of curling just gives my hair so much more volume and gives the appearance that i have thicker hair than i do not to mention these curls last me a few days so it obviously won't be as curled and bouncy second and third day but it still looks really nice but anyways that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful if you did please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. My channel has grown so much over the last year and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that watches my videos and supports me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I just really never thought my channel would get to where it is today. So I'm so, so grateful. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.